In this quick video, we're going to look at two subjects on the GCSE Pod website, Achieve Maths and Achieve English. These subjects accompany our full maths and English language courses, but they're designed specifically for students either taking resets or taking GCSE for the first time who are not yet secure in a passing grade. Now the courses are made up of a series of resources. First of all, we've got our award-winning videos. We call them pods and these are our three to five minute videos containing the knowledge needed to progress through the course. These pods are put into targeted playlists, which are condensed versions of the full Maths and English playlist and focus on the areas that will make the biggest difference to these learners. Next, we have our downloadable workbooks. These are structured with practice, apply and quiz style questions, which are designed to build confidence in learners. And then finally, we have our pre-created assignments. We call them ready, set, go assignments. And these are self-marking online quizzes that can be done in class or at home. Each course is broken down into 10 modules. If you're doing a 10 week reset course, this is a perfect structure. If not, you can spread the modules out across the year or across the term. So before we have a look at the GCSE pod website, let's just think about how other schools and colleges have used these resources to support their students. First of all, we recommend using the pods in class and encouraging the students to re-watch them at home. You may want to try and flip the classroom and set some of those pre-made assessments as pre-lesson homework. And this allows you when you're in your lesson to build on what's been learned a little bit quicker. You might want to use the 10 module curriculum to help students structure their independent learning. And of course, it's valuable catch up uh, material for any students that have been out of school absent. If you've got SEN students who might have slower processing, the pods can all be slowed down so that the students can go at their own pace. And if you've got supply or non-specialist teachers, you can use the ready-made workbooks as in-class activities or as intervention activities. So let's have a look at the materials on the GCSE pod website. So I'm currently logged in as a teacher and I'm gonna to go to the teach area. Here I've got the two subjects, so achieve maths, achieve English. If they're not visible to you, just click add remove subjects and you can add them in. So we'll go to achieve maths, and then we'll go module one, lesson one, which is on conversions. So the first thing you'll see is the actual pods themselves in this targeted playlist. Now, as mentioned, these have been specifically chosen to support students who are requiring extra support in this particular subject area. These can be played and you'll notice at the bottom here, I can speed up and slow down the pod if I need to go at a different pace. And all of the pods have subtitles as well. So let's just pause this pod here. So once it, you've watched the pods with the students, you can then access the workbooks from here. Now students get access to the workbooks without the answers. You get access to both with and without. So let's have a look at the with answers workbook. So these are PDFs, um, so you can print them off if you want to, or you can just view them online like this. And each workbook is broken up into the different lessons. So let's scroll down to lesson one. At the top, you'll see it gives you links to the pods that are part of that lesson. And then it dives into some questions. Now we start off with quiz questions. These are designed to build confidence in students before moving on to more challenging questions later in the assessment. So let's move on to the next part of the workbook, which is the practice section. Now these questions are a little bit more challenging. We've lost the multiple choice options, but we're not yet quite at exam style questions. For that, we need to move on a little bit further to the section called apply. This is where the questions become uh, exam style. And these are not past paper questions. These are unique to these workbooks. So they offer the students a real challenge, but hopefully because they've had those uh, previous quiz and practice questions, they'll be ready to tackle the more challenging ones at the end. And then finally, if we move on again to page 38, you'll see that at the end of the workbook, we have model answers and a full, full set of mark schemes. So you can use these with the students either to help them mark their own work or for you to do that marking for them. So those are the workbooks, but you might have noticed that these first questions right at the beginning 
these quiz questions are just multiple choice. And so the great news is that rather than you marking them manually, we actually provide those questions as an online assessment. And this is called a ready, set, go assignment. So if we go back and click on share and assign, you'll see that it says use related ready, set, go assignment. And if we click on this, this will take all of the quiz questions from the workbook and make them digital. So these are all the questions from the workbook. These are the two pods that the student needs to watch for this lesson. And all we need to do is just choose our class group. Or if we want to, we can actually pick individual users to send this assignment to like so. The students will then complete the assignment online, answer all of the questions, it will be automatically marked and you'll receive the results as well as the student receiving feedback on how they've done on each question as well. So that's all of the resources we have for Achieve Maths and English. If you want to find out more, you can visit gcsepod.com forward slash achieve. And of course, as always, please get in touch with the GCSEpod team if you have any questions.